Hello YouTube, set of the power supply repair video here. Now this is off a 42 inch plasma TV and I turned it on, the problem was it was clicking. It was clicking, this relay is trying to close the main 240 volts coming in, but something going on, so it was clicking, so the usual stuff, you know, look for any blown capacitors, or any obvious signs of broken field effect transistors or anything like that. But I've done some research on this particular board. The problem is these, these two field effect transistors, right? Even though they might look good, take it out and just get one of these component testers, test it and replace them. Because if these goes out, the most, most likely they're going to take out these transistors as well. So these are the ones that I pulled out soldered them right back and i'm just gonna put it back and see how we go now <clears throat> the other thing is if you want to take the board out and test it outside the tv it's advisable you use an inverter so, so that you're not pulling 15 amps or whatever whatnot if you're gonna short yourself out and the trick is to power this while it's on the board is to ground the enable pin I think it's a fourth pin to the ground so you can actually uh, turn it on and see all these 12 volts 5 volts all these coming out whatnot so it's an easy way to test this if you have any questions leave a comments below so the board is back in okay guys now it clicking could be it could be a totally related issue could be these boards here could be the Y main, I don't know, that's what they call it, or could be the logic board. So the way you normally want to test it is basically take these out one by one and see where the problem is. So my one was clicking when I tried to power it on with the main board. So I took it out and I just grounded one of the enable pin back to ground. So it was clicking. So I know the problem was with the main board, with the power board. So now that it's back in, I've tested, there's some test pins here, which it says VS and v, uh, VS and uh, VA voltages, so VA is 63 and VA is 205, so test those voltages, so they are pretty good. And I've heard a lot of stories about people talking about these caps going really bad or whatnot, but uh, they look, seem to be very fun, like okay to me. And also, if you have any other problem, could be these transformers getting shorted out inside. And obviously that will take out these, these guys here. So it took a while for me to troubleshoot this because I have to individually take out each component and test them. And it could be just filtering caps, I don't know. See, every, every board, the problem might be a bit unique. But in this case, most likely they're talking about these transistors. So that's a good place to start with. Now that's on, it's back in. Uh, it's working so two transistors cost about $250 in Australia uh, we got it back up and running and see how long it lasts when it fails we repair it again by the way guys Battlefield 5 is coming out so stay tuned <laughs> 